absolutely fed up to the back teeth of this. It's, it's about time that it finished now. Yeah. Good luck to you anyway, Alex. All right, bye. Bye. I've never really done anything with my life. Nothing to say. Nothing to write home. Is that where your heart is? I've always just stood and stared. Nobody ever noticed. Because nobody ever cared. The doubt inside my mind comes and goes. I once lived my life on the road. I had footpads for friends. Only one set of clothes. I slept in a forest. Under a bridge. Never realised what I had missed. Could this be turning into an iambic pentameter? I don't think so. One more day closer to death. That's all there is. Guess that's all that's left. I've known Alex for about five years. Well, I know he likes to smoke quite a bit. I'm not sure, but I've heard rumours that he might be into a bit of s &M. It's been a very stressful five years. He hasn't worked really. He's just been out of work for most of it, or been a student. And he just sits around the house and smokes dope for most days. Okay, I've got some bad news today in connection with uh, sponsorship for my film. This sums it up. This really does sum it up. This is from Barclays, Barclays Bank here. Yeah. Dear Mr. Jones, thank you for your recent letter. Whilst this is undoubtedly an exciting, worthwhile and challenging opportunity, I very much regret to advise that as a matter of policy, we do not support individuals. I'm very sorry to give you this somewhat disappointing reply, but trust that you understand the reasons for it. I do wish you well with your fundraising efforts. I very much regret to advise that as a matter of policy, 
We do not support individuals. Okay, so if Pablo Picasso was still alive, yeah, and he walked into your bank, you tell him to fuck off, would you? If David Bowie walked into your bank, you tell him to fuck off? You tell me to fuck off? There's no fucking point. I'm not in a group. I'm, I'm doing it by myself. You know, it should be it. For fuck's sake, it pisses me fucking right off this does. I'm going to do anything. We've actually got it written in black and white. Oh, no, no, no. We can't do individuals. What a fucking hell of crap is that? I'll change that scene one day, man. I'll change that scene. Believe me, I'll change that scene. Do you think he's ever going to get this film mad? I, well, put it this way, I'd be very surprised. Very surprised. What, why do you say that? Well, because I don't think he really does a hell of a lot. Bit of smoking. Bit of drinking special brew. I'm not quite sure there's much else going on. I'm in the, um, the, the, the pre-production stage. Pre-filming of my, um, Showreel film. The reason why I'm doing my showreel film is basically because I need funding to make my real film, my feature length feature film. And uh, I rang up Burnham Films and basically they wanted a showreel. So I said to them, why don't I spend the next two months shooting a short film and if you like what you see, because I'm using every trick in the book, everything I've, I've been taught, everything I, I've known. And I use every trick in the book. And if you like my film, I like my short film, then um, we can talk and we can make the feature length film. And you can give me 75 grand. And we'll make a uh, feature length film in France about a filmmaker that travels to France. Um, he's traveling on foot and he jumps trains and hitches his lift. And basically, it's, a, um, it's like a spoof documentary about a guy making a film. But the thing is, though, um, Things happen to him on the way, things that are planned, things that are planned, so you never know how the film's going to turn out. See, I'm going back into my fake, um, pathetic Irish accent. I think you'll, to be honest, you'll end up back in the slaughterhouse or work in a factory. <clears throat> Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to come along this way to think about things like uh, potatoes and uh, reformation, and think about like what happened if they killed Margaret Thatcher. Only. Uh, well, I'll just do it for camera. I don't, no one knows that I'm actually directing this film yet, so. See how it goes. There's something missing. Um, I don't know. I suppose it's up to me to tell them what's missing. But, um, I don't know myself, to tell you the truth. You know, so I find it pretty, pretty hard to, uh, to work this one out. So, uh, I guess I'll just wing it on my own, I think. What, what I, pfft. A month left to shoot this, and I've got no actors yet. So, um, I'm not at panic stations yet, but I'm going to be there soon, I think. Alex has asked me for a lend of a thousand pounds. And, well, quite honestly, I haven't got it. So I'm not very happy about it. And he knows I haven't got it. But he, he hasn't shown you all the, um, the, the detailed plans and how you're going to, like, oh. triple your money. And... Come on. As if. Hey? So as far as you're concerned, he's, he's, he's suited to factory work for the rest of his life, yeah? Well, no. I mean, I'm not just saying... I'm not saying that. I mean, that's not very nice thing to say, but... Well, seeing as how you said it. Probably about the size of it, isn't it? On the way to a location in Devon, and it's pissing down. So, um, I don't think I'm going there today.